Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is Kat. Yes, this is the first setup that I'll be filming in this room. There's a little bit of an echo, a little bit worried about that, but definitely do let me know what you think of this setup because this is where I'm going to be filming my videos for the rest of the year. So all of my sit down videos will be filmed in this room and I feel like it's about time that I utilize this space. This is my office and if you watch my vlogs, you will already know this, but these lights though, these lights are doing the things for the things because it's actually fairly dark today. Uh, it's been raining for the past couple of days, so it's actually fairly, fairly dark today. So the lights are coming in the clutch this time around. Let me know what you think of this new setup. This is normally where I sit when I do my makeup and when I do my work work and all of that. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of it and if I should keep it around or if you want me going back downstairs to my plants and all of that, okay? Channel, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be filming my first productivity video for 2022. Now this is, this is, this is a big one because this one is a very important one for me and you know for my channel and for my content as well. But I do want to mention now in the beginning of the video that I don't want us to be a JK fam where, you know, we place too much emphasis on being productive and productivity. And in the, in the meantime, we don't take care of ourselves. So we don't look after ourselves or we don't practice self love and self care because I am a big advocate of that. I'm big on practicing self love and self care, especially uh, for your mental space and your mental well being. But I'm also very big on productivity as well. Productivity is a very important thing to me. When I'm productive, I feel like there's order in my life. When things are coming like this, together like this, like this, I feel like there's order in my life when I've got lists and to-do lists and I'm dealing with planners and all of that kind of stuff, apps and such. This is what we're going to talk about today. I just need to grab some water because while these lights, sweetie. I use quite a number of things in terms of what helps me become more productive. I never equate um, successful work week or work year or running errands day, that kind of thing with how productive I am. I used to do that. I used to feel like if I have a productive day, then definitely like I've done something good for the day. But if I find myself idling and what have you, I feel like uh, I've wasted a day. I don't feel like that anymore. I used to until I learned and I started going on the journey of self-love and self-care. And I realized that days where I'm idle are important days and days where I'm not idle and I'm productive are just as important too. So that's the kind of culture that I want us to cultivate in this here session, because I want us to all understand that being productive is great, but at the same time, don't put too much pressure on yourself to be productive. These are the kinds of videos that are going to come at the beginning of every year where we're going to talk about productivity and we're going to talk about what we can do or what apps we can use or what planners we can use or whatever. I'm going to share that kind of information with you for the people who are interested in that kind of stuff, what we can do to help aid us in being more productive. But on the days you're not, don't have to be sweetie. Okay. You don't have to be honey boo boo. Okay, so the first two things that I'm going to start off with is journals and planners. Now you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, you know I feature planners every time. And I, not every time, but if I'm working, you'll know that I'll feature a planner or I like to buy notebooks or journals and all of that. And I'm going to show you some of the ones that I am using. Two of them are old notebooks because I haven't filled them up yet. And I don't see the need to buy new notebooks when I haven't filled them up. Besides, they go with the colors in this room and all of that. And they are actually very functional for what it is that I am doing this year. So I'm going to show you those. And I'm also going to show you my one major planner that I use. And uh, I'll tell you where you can get access to all of these things. Okay. So the first three are these ones. These are all <laughs> journals. Both. I almost said both. These are all journals and I absolutely love them. Each of them serve a different purpose. Um, the notes that I wrote 
for today's video live in this here journal so this is for everything just got Leo in terms of content for YouTube so everything is here okay everything YouTube Instagram Twitter I don't necessarily have to jot things down for my channel or for my socials or all of that not really for Twitter but for YouTube ideas my videos are not videos that you can just think about on a whim and this is a vlog right but if I'm doing a video on productivity or if I'm doing a video on health goals or if we're going to talk about money relationships whatever sometimes I need to frame my thoughts and I use this here baby for this I love this I got it at typo last year mm -hmm. and it's a cork sketchbook and it's so beautiful there's no lines on the inside no, so there's no lines on the insides and nice things about sketchbooks is that you can actually rip the pages apart without it looking like it's untidy there's a little sort of indentation which makes it easy to rip them apart if you don't want to see that page anymore but pretty much this is what I uh, use when I'm writing down all my notes it's cork it's colorful it's just absolutely gorgeous it's so 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 beautiful and I use this typo is great for planners it's great for stationery. I lose my models when I'm in typo and I get a lot of my planners from typo I get a lot of my desk planners um, and also a bits and pieces of my stationery from typo as well so I was going to show you one of them but my laptop is sitting on top of it so that's pretty much typos typos your girl typos your girl so if you want something maybe a little bit more sophisticated mature you know if you want something a little bit more mature but you still want to play around with color these ones from legamo are great these legami are great these are the my notebook series of notebooks they're lovely i've used these for two years i'm pretty sure now because um one of them is stuff for her story which is still happening you know co corona Corona disturbed my peace when it comes to her story, but we're still working it out. So the notebook stays because this is my vision and mission and everything. Ideas from the beginning are in here. And I love these because, I mean, it color blocks this page definer marker where you can like separate pages and all of that. It's great. Love this one as well. My candle is smelling amazing, chair. Is doing the things sitting right there. Okay, leather. Oops, something is about to fall out of it. But yeah, I use these ones uh, to write down notes for her story, all that kind of stuff. Love them. Also, it's got a little flip thing that comes out. So if you want to segment certain pages or the last page where you're at, you can just slip it in there and then close the notebook like so. Really, really pretty. Love these ones. Uh, they come in different colors. And this one you can find at Exclusive Books. Uh, journals are really great because for me, they help me segment my thoughts. But I need a lot more room to write in a journal as opposed to a planner. So with a planner, I just literally write what I need to write for that day, for that week, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So a planner doesn't have too much space. But when I need, when I've got ideas brewing, journals come in really, really clutch for that. And planner-wise, only one planner works for me, chair. All year, every year. Please, if you are South African, possibly even if you're not South African, contact them and see. But this is the boss planner. This is the I belong fully to myself. The get it done weekly planner from Boss Plus One. Look at her. I love this planner. So it, it's segmented from uh, months to weeks to your financial goals, your productivity goals, your personal development goals. And I've already started writing in this planner about all those kinds of things. The only thing that I don't write in this planner is my financial goals. I keep that on my phone. I feel like if I lose this planner and I've got numbers and all of that, I'm just... I just feel some type of way about writing my financial goals in a planner that I could leave at a restaurant by mistake or something like that. So I don't do that. But um, really, really great January. At the beginning of January, you have like a to-do list of what you, what you can write down in terms of to-do lists and what you can do on a weekly basis. This is pretty much my last week. I'm not going to bring it close, but you can see with the color, 
I react to color. I respond quite positively to color. So this is my last week um, weekly overview spread and my brain dump section, YouTube videos, books to read this month, that kind of thing, uh, video ideas, I said that already, um, work stuff as well, personal work stuff in here as well. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just, it's beautiful and it's segmented really nicely. It's got little, uh, what do you call these things? Flags. It's got little flags that separate each month and at the beginning of the month or in that month, you've got a weekly spread. Um, and then you've got a to-do list at the top of the page and you've got appointments that you can write down what do you need to do. So I've already filled out when I need to call for my, my doctors, for my yearly appointments and all of that. And of course you can also close it up like so. Very, very lovely, lovely. Honestly, I have last year's one here. And they've just gotten better so this is 2021 this is 2022 and it's black and white this is the problem with life yeah this is, but yeah love 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 them love them both and they just get better and better and better 2021 is beautiful use it quite a bit as well really thick um but it just gets better this one is so much better than this one so they keep doing a great job. Well done to Ntadi and team. Um, but definitely check them out. They're on Instagram, Boss Plus One on Instagram. And they also have a shop, a website, and all of that where you can buy the planner. This planner goes for 500 bucks. For something that you're going to use right throughout the year, sweetie, you're fine. Understand? You're fine. Next up is stationery. Now, as I said, me, I'm very big on color. So stationery is really, really important to me. Things like markers, excuse me. Things like markers, highlighters, fine liners, artistic pens. Um, I'm somebody who used to do bullet journals quite a lot as well. I don't do it anymore. It's very time consuming, <laughs> very time consuming. So I don't do it anymore, however, um, I would use the markers and all of that for my bullet journaling. Not only that, I use them in my planners and my journals and all of that. So stationary for me is a big deal. Things like this. Why, why did you have to fall on the floor? Things like flags, things like uh, posted stickers and all of that. These things are very important to me because it helps put color on the page. And as I said, I respond very well to color. It helps put color on the page, but it also just um, makes planning and prepping much more fun because it's colorful, I can see. I know that there are people who don't like color, who are not particular, uh, particularly crazy about color, but me, me on the other hand, I am sweetie, I am. I'm a big fan of colored pens, fine liners, artistic pens. These are from Faber-Castell. Faber-Castell has the best pens. It really does. Uh, also, what is this brand as well? Artline. Artline has really, really great pens. If you're somebody that's into calligraphy or bullet journaling or whatever, really great. I love these as well as highlighters. I put them on my desk here because I was working in the morning. But as well as highlighters and all of that, really, really great. They come in so, so clutch. So in terms of productivity, when I speak about books in terms of productivity, I think about books that are going to help me not only be productive, but also self-personal development. Uh, one of the reasons why I do not read um, a lot of... No. One of the reasons why I read a lot of fiction books is, is... What am I saying? One of the reasons why I read a lot of fiction books instead of uh, non-fiction, self-help books, whatever, is this here reason right here. Okay, I appreciate self-help books, you know, like the 5 a.m. club and Think Like a Monk and all these, you know, um, what's the one that Roxanne likes, Laws of Attraction, all that kind of, I love those books and I can appreciate them, but sometimes when you get the wrong self-help book, it, can, it comes across as very preachy, like this is how you should be living your life. 
okay this is how you should be living your life this if you can do this you'll be more productive in a day and some of them just come across really really preachy that's one of the reasons why i do not like to read self-help books however i do um i made a little goal to myself that this year i do want to read more self-help um content books that will help me in terms of personal development and productivity so the next book that i'll be reading uh, with regards to that is atomic habits i'm really looking forward to that because it seems like a lot of people with all the reviews that i've read and watched and listened to a lot of people appreciate the book because it doesn't come across as preachy one of the reasons why i like to think like a monk um is because I felt like it came across like I was having a conversation with Jay. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Jay was just helping me. Like, listen, if you do this, it's going to be better. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be good for your life. It's going to be good for your mental health, mental space. So uh, in terms of books, that's what I'm looking at doing this year. Why are all my friends calling me? Why are all my friends calling me? It's the disrespect of them not knowing that I'm recording. It's the disrespect. They're not rating me. Okay, so in terms of productivity, I have a number of apps that I use that make my productivity levels skyrocket. It makes things easy because it's easily accessible. My phone is always on me, so I know that I, when, I, when I'm looking at meetings or calls that I need to do or gym or recording or whatever, I need to jot all this stuff down. I may have it in my planner, yes, but I don't carry my planner with me everywhere. This dear baby, I do, right? And my biggest, I've got a, should I maybe, should I screen record this? You guys, you guys don't see what's on my phone and everything. I have got a folder called get it organized and you you're gonna see it here i'm gonna put it here and in this folder i've got plan preview collect google calendar and flow we all know who flow is okay good sis gotta check on her period blah 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 i need to i need to organize my cycle chat because one minute i'm on the pill one minute i'm not it's it's a bit of a mess that's why flow is there but i use google calendar quite a lot and as you can see this here week, um, earlier on in the week, I wasn't, earlier on in the last two weeks, I wasn't really uh, as busy. But from Thursday to, uh, I love uh, Microsoft Outlook, that works more so for work for me. It works. It works. Microsoft Outlook. I know there's a lot of, uh, like your monday.com, there's a lot of planning apps and all that. I don't really need those. Plan and preview works like Unum, which is another uh, app which you can use to plan your Instagram content. So like pictures and all of that, I normally have them there so I can see them, so I can see how my feed is going to look and then I can move them around. So plan works like Unum and Unum. Unum, I don't know, Unum. Um, a plan also works in a great, I think preview works like Unum really, really well. Plan is really great for social media content. So if you want to plan which days you're going to release videos, which days you're going to put up tweets, which days you're going to put up Instagram real stories, um, whatever, Plan is really good at reminding you of those kinds of things. And it does it on your behalf as well. If you can't you connect everything together, really, really good. Um, so that is great. Those ones for me in terms of productivity work the best. Um, what else? So for reading, I've got Goodreads and I'm currently, I just finished, no, I'm not currently reading this. I'm finished reading it. Yes. I just finished seven days in June early this morning and some of the books that I want to read. It's a great space for me to connect with people that um love to read as well so if you're somebody who loves to read you don't have a goodreads account get it segment everything so you know um that's pretty much it from me so one last final don't ever use don't ever use productivity as a benchmark that you know what the more productive i've been the better it is it isn't like that but also for those who do thrive on being productive like myself 
I hope this video has helped and if it has let me know down below if you think it'll help somebody else subscribe to the channel share repost retweet everything about this video really really appreciate that you stuck around with me uh for this long <laughs> uh, and yeah i'm gonna go film another video i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you in the next one okay okay bye